What's up YouTube, this is Kyle here, coming back to you with another Mining Shed video. Today, we're talking Fan Speed Controller Part 2, the sequel, the new and improved version of my Fan Speed Controller in the shed. Check it out now. So we're down here in the shed. We're gonna be installing this new fan speed controller that I got. It's a uh, thermostat driven one. So um, I'll put it up on the screen, but basically it allows you to control the fan speed and it allows you to set a temperature so that the uh, fan will cut off once uh, it reaches that temperature. So let's say that it's 60 degrees in the shed. You got the thermostat set to 50. It's gonna run the fan until it gets down to 50 and then it's gonna cut the fan off. Um, this should help alleviate the problems that I've been having in the shed where I have to come in one or two times a day to turn the fan speed up and down to try to combat these Midwestern uh, winter temperatures. Um, in the middle of the day, it could be 50 degrees, and in the middle of the night, it could be like 6 degrees. So, I mean, it's really hard to keep the temperature stable. So hopefully this thing will uh, get us all squared away. So let's go ahead and get into installing it, and then I'll show you the results after that. Alright guys, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug all these miners so that it's a little bit quieter in here. All right, now that I got those turned off, I'm gonna turn this bad boy off. Uh, there we go. Now that's off. Uh, it's 90 degrees back here, as you can see, but it's gonna be dropping quickly because it's like 10 degrees outside right now. So gonna need to get this done as quickly as possible. Um, we're gonna be putting the thermostat somewhere along this wall, depending on where I have room to put it. So. Let's get this cord out and see how long we got. This is the cord I got. Can I get this twist tie off? There we go. Should be, should be pretty long. It's about a little less than my arm span, so maybe almost six feet. I don't know. Something like that. But it should work. We just got standard little three prong three prong there and we got three wires here with nuts ready to go all we're going to do is essentially take this fan speed controller it just plugs right into an outlet you just plug this into the bottom like so and this just wires to the fan and bada bing bada bing it's like the easiest thing ever you guys could do this at home in your sheds if you got them um, or even in your your house i mean this thing is this thing's awesome, so we'll see if it works. Pro tip, always turn the power off before you work on electrical stuff. I've been shocked, it's not fun. It's boom, off. Should be good to go now. Rule number one in electrical though, never trust the breakers. Always check to see if you have power coming in anywhere. Good to go. Got my handy dandy dykes. We're just gonna cut this wire here. It's gonna be really hard for you guys to see no matter what I do, but let's see if I can get you anything. There you go, you can kinda see what I'm doing. All right, got that wire cut. And we're just gonna strip it. Nothing crazy here yet. This probably needs to be in a junction box, but we're kind of in a pinch here and we need to get this done like yesterday. So we're gonna make it do for, for now. I'll come back and put this in a box later. But do as I say, not as I do. Um, and wire this correctly. Got the trusty Wire strippers. Ah. All 
That one felt good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's see if I can not do that again. Didn't hurt as bad, I'll tell you that much. All right. All right, we got those crimped. Now all we gotta do is just run the wire, hook up some wire nuts and see if this bad boy works. All right, that should give, that should give me, that should give me, that should give me enough wire to get this. Oh yeah. That should be enough wire to get this all done. I can hear coyotes howling in the background. Got to figure out which uh, wire's the hot and which one's the neutral. This is an electrical device, but on my wire, it's the the writing that has the right or the the wire that has the writing on it is the wire that's the hot one in my case. So check your wire; it should be labeled. But I know what mine is, and that's all I need. All right, just got those three wires wired up. Let's give it a test, see if it works. All right, guys, we got this all wired up here. Um, got the temperature set at around 74 degrees Fahrenheit and the fan speed's a little, a little more than half, just barely. Um, pretty straightforward and this plug just runs over to the fan, up over and through there. And then this is obviously just an outlet. And then I'll show you the fan here. See if it'll focus. There we go. Fans running. There's my ghetto wiring that's gonna get changed here in the future, but everything's working. It's been running like this for a while now, sitting at 96 degrees in the rear here, and right about 51.6 degrees in the front. So pretty solid, um, I would say. Definitely recommend this thing. It's so far doing its job, so I'll meet you back in my office. All right, so the shed has been running stable for almost 20 hours now or so, and things have pretty much stabilized out and I'm feeling good about it. So we're gonna go ahead and call this a win for now. Uh, the only thing that I would wanna change in the future if I can find one or if you guys know of one is to add a smart controller in there that I can control remotely. That's the next step if I can find it. I don't even know if it exists right now, but if it does, I'll be putting one of those in the shed someday. So that way I don't even have to go out there to check on things and update things. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you wanna see more videos like that, click on the video on the screen now to check out this playlist of all my Bitcoin Shed videos. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, peace.